You are watching another edition of the Pizza and Ella Show. I'm standing next to the namesake of the Pizza and Ella Show, Pete Zanella, head coach of the FD women's basketball team, Pete. Um, two games to talk about this past weekend. Two different results, although although losses, but of different variety. Um, a lot of positives I think you can take out of it. Let's start with the Wagner game. A bit of a reversal from the season. We've seen a lot of second half comebacks, second half outscoring opponents, but the first half, you were up at halftime. Walk us through that second half and what you'd like to, to change differently about that. Yeah, we had a nice lead at halftime. And then, you know, I, I think we played okay in the second half. I just think Wagner played really well. Wagner made all the shots. That's probably the best I've seen him play in a half. They were very complete. At the same time, we caught an 11-point lead and took the lead with five minutes to go. And then Wagner responded with three big, not easy shots, contested jump shots on the perimeter. So I, that was a game where I thought we played pretty well. We shot very well. We had a season-low six turnovers. It was just I think Wagner really shot the ball well, and maybe we didn't rebound as well as we'd like to, but we did play a pretty good game at Wagner. It's just Wagner played a very good game. Um, the this, this season-low six, season six turnovers has to be a high point so far, and, I mean, there is so many positives to take out of these previous games. Result, win or loss, this team battles tough down the stretch. It's, you get the sense that they can take on any team in a do-or-die situation, but you're looking at three of the next five are on the road. Yeah, yeah. Three in the next five days. Right, right. Now, before we get to that, real quick, I wanted to talk about the Bryan game really quick okay. because it's, it's a bit of a stunning predicament, despite the, the kind of a crazy comeback that it was, but you had your senior, senior point guard, Amanda Andretti's, she hasn't sat, she hasn't played under 30 minutes in right. one full calendar year. Right. She's averaging thir nearly 38 minutes per contest in the NEC, yeah. and she picks up her fourth foul about just under 12 minutes ago. Right. And with seven minutes with, with her on the bench, this team rallies. We did. This we team did. rallies without their senior leader and went on a tremendous run, and we're leaving, leading by as much as seven. So what does that speak volumes to about how this team can perform oh, without, well, without that, that their was, vocal That leader. was a great thing for our team. Zainab came in and gave us a few good minutes. Kiana Brown came in and gave us a few good minutes, and we, we grabbed the lead, and we had a nice lead going into uh, you know the two-minute mark. So you know, very proud of the team. It's probably one of our best games we've played all year. We, we out-rebounded Bryant. We um, defended Bryant's transition game, which – you know, I thought it was tremendous. They only had six fast break points, and they're one of the best running teams in our league. So that was just a great effort. And that was probably, you know, I've coached 21 years. That was probably the most stunning, tough loss at the end of a game. And uh, that was just a tough one because I think the kids played really well. They played tough. And we just, uh, you know, Bryant, um, got to give Bryant credit for never giving up. And that's why they're a 19 win, you know, 18 20 win team this year. I mean, if it was, if it was going to be a loss for you guys, that was the only way it was going to happen. Just a, just a crazy kind of miracle. Um, but still, it speaks volumes to this team's ability, the way they've been fighting all season. And I, I, I like to think of it as the turning point earlier in AC play was facing Brian on the road. You put together a fantastic 40-minute game. You were leading one of the better teams in AC throughout most of the most of the way, and it kind of sparked this team to a good run since. And now you have the opposite. Um, where they come to Hackensack and you have this tremendous performance. Yeah. But you have to kind of ignore the loss and keep plowing ahead. But now tell me how you and the team feel about three in the next five because one of them is a postponement of an earlier game due to the winter weather. You got three road games in five days. How do you think the team is going to stand up and handle it? Uh, I, I think, I think we're, we're tough. We're ready to go right now. We, we, we're a little mad at that last game and we should be. And um, now we're really going to just try and fight as hard as we can. We know it's not easy on the road. And I, and I think Mount is very good at home. So we know we, we're in for a real battle. And it's not going to stop as three of the next five games are on the road. But if we want to make the playoffs, we just got to really fight hard right here. All right, give me a couple of scouting reports first, Mount. Uh, Mount came to Hackensack a month ago. And after you walked away with a 22-point victory and a full team performance, we were lauding the, the full team performance all over. And it was co coincidentally Erica Livermore's season low game. She had four points and two rebounds in that game, and you still won by 22. So we know that they're tough to play at Not Arena, but give us what you're looking into uh, 
this matchup? Well, that was so long ago, it's not even a factor in our heads. Um, I, I think Mount's very tough at home. They're scrappy end day. They do a lot of different things. They're probably going to trap us some. They're also going to throw some run and jump at us. Might even see some zone. And then on offense, they're very efficient. They get good shots for their top players. A lot of flare screens, very good zone offense. So we just got to be ready for whatever they throw at us. Challenge every shot we can. Do whatever we can to keep them off the foul line. They're a very good foul shooting team. And take care of the basketball versus their different um, hard traps that we'll see. And I failed to mention that Mount and Monday's opponent, St. Francis Brooklyn, direct opponents for these last, last four spots in the NEC tournament. So let's give a little bit of a preview of the Terriers. You've already seen what they've done here in Hackensack. What are you looking to do to stop them on Monday? St. Francis played very well here. Uh, they just had a game last week where they, where they beat Sacred Heart, a very good team. So they're all seniors. It's going to be very tough on the road. They're a great shooting team. They take care of the basketball. They make you play their tempo. They also play good, solid team defense. So you got to hit shots on the road. Got to find a way to out rebound them. We do have a little bit of a height in a few spots, but they out rebounded us last time. So we got to find a way to out rebound them this time. All right, and we'll talk about Sacred Heart next week's show. Pete, best of luck this weekend, and then we'll talk to you next week. Thanks, Ryan. Thank you. Absolutely. In just a few minutes, we have a treat for you. We have uh, standout junior guard Kelsey Cruz, NEC's third leading scorer, having a tremendous junior campaign. Stick around and hear from her. And again, thank you for watching this week. We'll see you next week. The world has changed, and Fairleigh Dickinson University is doing something about it. The biggest thing FDU has to offer is their global education. Undergrad, master's, doctorate, whatever it is that you're looking for, they have so many different opportunities for so many different interests. We give opportunities for people to change the way they view themselves and their world. It's given me a chance to succeed. They've made my dream come true. I love it. I would choose no other place. I'm standing here with junior junior guard Kelsey Cruz, and uh, Kelsey, we haven't had you on this this year yet. Um, but to all FTU fans out there, I want to before we get into recent games, I want to give uh, a little bit of a bigger picture of your season so far. You've had a tremendous season, third leading leading scorer in the NEC, um, at 18.7 points per game. Um, and in a second, I'm going to throw out a couple of stats that I love. But so far, how, I mean, how how have you enjoyed the success this season, and you know where are you at right now? I mean, coming off of last season, last season was tough. I think having Livermore back obviously has helped us. I'm glad she's back. So, I mean, we still struggle every now and then, but it's, it's gradual improvement. Absolutely, but you individually on a, on a personal level, you've improved uh, field goal percentage-wise. You've been having some fantastic games. Um, I think you just one of the sets I was going to say was you've rattled off. I think before this past game Monday, you had six of seven games, I believe shooting 45% or better, and you take double-digit shot attempts, so that's just tremendous from a, from a shooting guard. Where are you at mentally, with, you know, physically with your game? Um, individually, how has your performance been this season? Um, obviously, I think there are things that I could improve on, but as far as my shooting, I think that my, my shot selection has improved overall. Um, especially since we have lived back, I don't, I don't feel like I have to force shots now. So... Um, and let's talk about recent results. Uh, it's been an up and down ride in North e in, in NEC play. Um, you've rattled off some great wins, and then you've had some really tough close losses, kind of highlighted by the last few games. Um, where's the team at mentally right now? I mean, you're still in an NEC tournament spot right now, and what do you guys are looking to change, maybe to, to turn things around in the in the short term? I mean, we're after Monday. Monday night's loss. Uh, we're we're really fired up. I think we're we're ready to go in the season strong. Possibly get five wins in a row, which I think is very possible. So we're ready. It's going to be tough to do though. Uh, three of the next five are all on the road, including three. The next three are all in five days on the road. You know, do you look to that challenge and step up? I know you're fired up after the, the last two games, but you know, do you see that daunting task at all? Is it is it, is it daunting? I should ask. I mean, playing on the road can be tough. However, I think after hanging with teams like Robert Morris, hanging with teams like Bryant, I feel like I feel like we feel like we can beat anybody. So anywhere. So. I don't know. Hey, I agree. I was just telling that to the assistant coaches earlier. I agree. And uh, so, best of luck this weekend. Um, and thanks for joining me on the Snell Show. Thank you. <laughs> All right, that's Kelsey Cruz. FDUnites.com is your home for women's basketball. It's your hub. And check out NEC Front Row. Follow the team this weekend. 
They're going to Mount St. Mary's on Saturday, 4.30 tip. Thanks for watching this week.